Hi there, I'm Janelle Lawrence, the Urban Teacher, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to speak about collaboration and how collaboration can help you do your job a little bit better and make your life a little bit more, e a little bit easier. All right. So, what do I mean by collaboration, or why is collaboration important? Well. I don't need to tell you, everyone has said it before, You, if you're a teacher, you know the profession is difficult. If you're entering the profession, you know, you have heard that it's not a simple, it's not an easy profession to be involved in because there are so many different people involved. You have to deal with the 30 kids in front of you, you have to deal with their parents, and you have to deal with, um, this, with administration. Everyone needs to be happy in order for you to get your job done and for you to have some kind of peace of mind. So this is why collaboration is important. Now from experience, I can tell you, if you collaborate with parents and parents, you have parents on your side, your job will be easier, a lot easier. But how can you get parents on your side? By communicating. Parents need to be involved with their students educate with their children's education and they need to understand that you as a teacher are here for them. And the way you do it is to communicate it. I communicate what is going on in my classroom in a weekly basis. I communicate the when I when I'm sending home homework, they're in they're notified. When there's a test coming up, they're notified. I communicate about the content we are teaching, the skills we are teaching. Parents need to know what's going on in the classroom so that they can help you, they can support you from there at home and that they have a peace of mind that this this teacher is looking out for them. Now, God forbid, a student go home and complain about you or about the task or something going on in the classroom. Because you have that open communication with the parents, they have no, um, they can reach out to you, um, they can get to the bottom of it, or they can back you up if it's like a disciplinary thing. Another person, another person you need to collaborate with is the students. Students need to understand that you are here for them. It is so difficult teaching kids that don't want to learn. But hear this, everyone wants to learn. It's human nature. We want to learn. That makes us different from the other primates, from the other animals in the animal kingdom. We have this desire to learn. Now the issue is, students might not want to learn what you're teaching or they might not want to learn it from you. Or they, they might want to learn but they're distracted. So it's up to you to ensure that this what you're teaching, kids want to learn it and teach, kids are willing to hear it from you. How can you do that? Simple. By having them buy into the curriculum. Having them understand that the curriculum is here for them. Maybe they might not want to learn about the trigonometry, um, the trick that you have to teach. Maybe they don't see it relevant for them. But you need to ensure that they understand why this is helpful for them. Maybe they might not go into a career that may need trick, but they need to understand that everything that is being taught has been curated with them in mind and their future in mind. You need to make sure you're clearly expressing why they need to do it and how this is beneficial to them. Next, you also need to have them feel joy within the curriculum. All right, so one thing is, I was reading this book by Goldie Mohammed, and she speaks about cultural, historically culturally responsive teaching. And I found it wasn't really different from other books I've read, but what she had that was different was the idea of joy in the classroom. If you bring joy into the classroom, students will wanna be there. All right, now joy doesn't mean we have to sing and play games, joy can be, having students seeing that they're seen within the curriculum they could you're accessing their prior knowledge you're bringing in um, stuff that interests them you're assessing them in a way that um, makes them happy we have speeches in my classroom we have um, role-playing activities we do a lot of things that let the students know that I see them I hear them, and I want them to be happy when they come into my classroom if you need more ideas about that please follow my blog it is linked below I will be putting lesson plans that I'll be, I'm doing in the classroom different ideas I have in the classroom this will be a really great source but especially social studies teacher because I am a middle school social studies teacher but again go to my blog all this information will be there and 
You could also collaborate with your administration. Bring it the speak to your admin, administration. Ensure that you understand what they're looking for in the school year. What they want. What what um, learning outcomes. What are the focus areas in the school? All that will make your year easier if you collaborate with the parents. Parents have buy in. Students have buy in. Oh my goodness, students having buy in is so important. There's so many things that make teaching hard, but if you have a difficult class, that can, that can almost break you. So student buy-in is important as well as administration. You need administration to have your back, you need administration to step in for you. You need all of that. Again, I'm gonna keep this video short. Something's wrong with my camera. It keeps overheating and shutting down. So I'm gonna end it here. If you need more information on this collaboration, please look at the blog post that I've linked here. Um, it does talk about how to get parents and students collaboration and what steps you need to do to uh, get that back in. So I'll link that blog post here. All right, again, thank you. This is Janelle Lawrence, the Urban Teacher, and I'm happy that you came and watched my video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Again, bye before my um, camera shut down.